Hey folks, just a relatively quick video this time, but uh, it's a pretty specific one. But I hope it might be of help to someone in the future with the same uh, DJI Spark IMU calibration error number 71 as I was hit with just recently. Uh, in fact, on the uh, day that my new DJI Spark arrived. This uh, fix, um, it might not work for everyone, but in my case, it saved me uh, a few bucks and certainly probably saved me a few weeks time uh, delay uh, waiting for it to be returned from DJI and sending my Spark off for repair or replacement. So briefly, the, uh, the story was, uh, it was the week before Christmas, uh, my presents to myself were arriving by courier. I got a new uh, DJI um, Pocket Osmo uh, the day before and the following day I got my uh, DJI Spark. I had a trip planned uh, between Christmas and New Year, so I needed to do a couple of quick tests and you know, get familiar with them so I knew what I was doing by the time I got there. I was really excited, I opened up the Spark, uh, I did a video of that and you'll see that in the background uh, just for something to see. Sorry, the, the sound of the Osmo without the external microphone was pretty awful with my air conditioning going, so uh, yes DJI, that uh, three and a half mil adapter that we're all waiting for to come out, it'll be a big seller, it'll hopefully help us a lot. Anyway. Uh, I paired the Spark uh, in the controller and the phone, I registered online, updated the firmware and everything, uh, set the heights and everything that you need to uh, before you go and try to fly and I went outside to uh, do my maiden flight and a couple of tests and I was greeted by um, da -da, a main controller data error as you see on the screen and obviously this Spark was not going to fly anywhere. So, I clicked the status, uh, it showed me it had an IMU uh, error and I needed to calibrate. Now, I mean, I knew that anyway, I, I had to calibrate the compass and the IMU, that was what you do on your, your, your flights regularly anyway. Uh, I started the IMU calibration and it just hung. After about 15 seconds or so, um, it stopped. Uh, it was about a quarter of the way across the progress bar and it failed with the uh, error 71 that's showing on the, uh, the screen. It didn't get through step one of six. Um, I tried many, many times um, and it, it failed every time with the same error message. So uh, I thought I'll go back and um, have a bit of a Google and see if I can see you know, if there's a quick and easy fix for this, whether it was something simple. I read everything I could about the IMU failures, error 71, etc., and I tried everything. I did all the usual. I checked the firmware, restarted everything, tried multiple SD cards, uh, multiple batteries, multiple locations in case there was any interference or it wasn't level ground, and I still got the same error every time, time after time. This took quite a few hours, and all I read online in the DJI forums was like DJI staff saying, please send the spark back to them for repair and replacement. They didn't really say which, but you know, send it back and we'll take care of it. Well, here where I live, that's something I really wanted to avoid. Um, I wanted to use that spark the following week. That's why I got them delivered uh, you know, before Christmas. Um, and unfortunately though, it's a very busy uh, week, of course, um, before Christmas, a very busy freight week. Uh, between the islands here and, uh, and in my case uh, DJI support was in another region from where I was. So I called them and to be honest they were really great to deal with but um, after I sent them the uh, video of the uh, error which you have to do uh, they agreed um, that it had problems and it needed to go back to them um, and as it turned out uh, at my expense. So I repacked it, I quickly went down to the local courier office to uh, try to get it out that afternoon but I was told, of course, by them, sorry, sir, uh, we're overloaded with freight. This won't actually go back to Manila uh, until after Christmas. And I thought, yuck. So I'm definitely not going to be taking this thing away uh, on my trip. So I brought it back home. Uh, I looked into other courier options just to see who else I could send it by. And I could only find one that might be able to take it, although they might have also been booked up. But it was going to be like over $100. And to be honest, it didn't look like it was going to get back in time anyway. So I thought, um, I really need to have another look at this uh, and see if there's you know, any option to fix it. I was pleading with the DJI guy if there was any other way around this. So anyway, I uh, opened the package back up again that I'd just taken down the courier shop. I reread all the uh, errors and I looked at doing some other searches because I'd been looking um, just alone for like error 71 and IMU errors and things. And that was no good. And like even DJI support, they really had no idea. Well, not that they were letting on anyway. 
Um, but the um, accelerometer failed message that was on the screen, I hadn't really been looking to that, and I thought that, that's certainly worth checking. Um, so at first I googled like spark accelerometer failed, and that led me down a number of different paths and a lot more reading for a whole while, but nothing really concrete. But then I thought, well, I left out the spark bit and just did uh, accelerometer errors, and I found a, an old forum post from a guy who crashed his DJI Phantom 3 back in 2016, so a few years ago, and he had accelerometer errors after that. And that got me thinking. Um, I might have crashed, I mean, it had never even flown, but you know, there's no, no guarantee it hadn't been dropped uh, you know, in the factory or dropped before it got delivered to me. Um, and they're only packed in sort of like a, I don't know what it is, styrofoam type uh, thing. It's not sort of really that shock absorbent. So he wasn't getting this, exactly the same error as me. Uh, he was simply getting uh, an unknown error when he was trying to calibrate his IMU after his crash. I mean, this was a few years ago, so the older firmware maybe didn't have the same error codes uh, and the firmware might be completely different to a Spark, of course. Turns out he was a cell phone engineer of some sort and he knew a bit about digital accelerometers that they use in phones, in mobile cell phones, and how they can be really touchy to uh, you know, movement and shock. So um, I thought it was worth a try having a read of what uh, his fix was. So anyway, you go into the DJI Go app and there's nowhere really in there to check anything to any great level about what the acceler accelerometers are doing. Um, but if you load an older version, as I read then, load an older version of the DJI Assistant uh, app on Windows, not the current ones because this, is, this mode is disabled, but you can start what's called advanced mode. Uh, I'm not going to show you or tell you how to do that now. That's something you can Google. There's plenty of people telling you how to do that. The harder part sometimes will probably be getting that older version of the DJI Assistant. I think it's got to be 1.1.2 or earlier. I'll check that and put that in the notes. And in that, um, you can enable, with a bit of a hack, uh, enable the advanced mode and you can see the readings from your three accelerometers on the Spark. One for your X-axis, your Y-axis and your Z-axis. Now, mine was showing uh, that my Y-axis accelerometer was pegged at 16, or stuck on 16, which is the maximum, while the X and the Z were sitting around zero. And if you move the spark around a little bit while it was plugged into the app, um, those values changed. They moved up and down a bit as you, as you moved it. Whereas the Y-axis just stuck on 16, and it seemed to be definitely stuck. No matter what you did and moved the thing around, it just stayed there. So I thought, well, look, I've got nothing to lose. And certainly plenty to gain if I don't need to spend a month you know, sending this thing back and waiting and hoping it gets repaired. Um, so I thought, well, I, his was a bit different. He crashed it and hit it in the front. Mine I hadn't, I hadn't done anything. His was the, um, the x-axis, but I thought, well, I gave, the, I gave the spark a couple of quick, sharp, not hard, but finger taps. I mean, I'm trying to jar the unit a bit, uh, jar the spark, hit it quickly. Um, not break it, um, just on one side of it. And I didn't really expect much, but you hit it, I hit it on the right hand side because that was on the Y axis. I then uh, rebooted the Spark and the controller and, and reconnected my iPhone. I opened up the DJI Go app and it still had that same IMU error, so I thought, oh, this, isn't looking, this isn't looking too good. Um, I opened up the status and I tried the uh, IMU calibration or recalibration again. And you could have knocked me out with a feather, the damn thing worked. It went straight through first go, took all of about five seconds and worked. Um, so tapping it a couple of times freed up the stuck Y-axis accelerometer. And um, I checked it again in the DJI uh, Assistant app on Windows and the Y-axis was reading close to zero as well. And it moved around when I moved the spark. So it certainly had been stuck. I can only guess that the spark was shaken or dropped, like I said, either in a factory or somewhere along the delivery route. I mean, I'll never know, but uh, all I know is um, I then went and closed the DJI support call, told them what I'd done and told them if I have any more issues, I will return it. And uh, the next day went out and tested, started flying and making videos and I've had you know, no more problems. So for you guys, if anyone gets an IMU error uh, 71 on your spark, this might be a fix that saves you having to send it back to DJI for repair. I mean, in my case, here in this country, there's no DJI care package uh, option. So, uh, you know, where you'll get a new one or they'll fix it or whatever. So I really didn't want to send it back, as I said. So it's worth a try um, before you send it back, just in case. I'll post details below of the, uh, that 2016 um, 
forum post on the Phantom. Um, just if you want to read up more about it, it was really interesting. And many thanks to, I think his name was Zander Grand in the forum uh, that posted those details. I, I certainly wouldn't have probably looked down that path without reading that and uh, you know, sort of working out maybe it'll be my problem as well. But anyway, so hopefully making this uh, video and posting a decent title in YouTube means that some other spark earners, if they get that same error, might be able to find an answer fairly quickly rather than spending you know, a day or two like I did um, trying to find an answer and then just accidentally more or less uh, coming across it. So you never know, two quick finger taps could be the fix. So um, enjoy um, and certainly like and subscribe if you wish. Thanks very much.